Shia and Sunni are members of one of two major branches of Islam that consist of religious majorities. The vast majority of Iran's are Muslims of the Inid, Ashari, and Twelver. They all fall into the Shinis branch, which is officially the state's religion. The Kurds and Turkey men are predominantly Sunni Muslims, but Iran's are both Sunni and Shia. Small communities of Christians, Jews, and Zoroastrians are also found throughout the country. Shinism are the promise of the return to obey in Prophet Muhammad. Shia has been predominant politically and socially forced in Iran since the 1979 century. The Sini recognize the first four Kaplites as the Prophet Muhammad's rightful successor, whereas in the other hand, Shias believe that Muslim leaderships belong to Muhammad's son-in-law Ali and his descendants alone. Later, the religious traditions extended to the Middle East. The Iranian culture has been influenced by waves of indigenous, foreign conquerors, and immigrants. Families tend to be very small, usually only one or two children, but they are very close with their extended families. In these families, female relatives are to be protected, and elderly are to be taken care of in families' homes. Loyalty towards family is always greater than that towards any other social relationships. Iranians have two identities, Sahir meaning public and Batin meaning private. Their public identities have to conform to the accepted modes of behavior. Meanwhile, their private identities are usually only shown within inner circles where they can feel free to be themselves. In these inner circles, it is most common to ask for advice and help to find jobs. Ta'arof meaning Iranian politeness is usually a way to show humbleness and respectfulness non-verbally and verbally. Iran has a multicultural and multi-ethnic society. Due to the amount of diversity, both men and women wear embroidered designs and colorful patterns in order to identify which region they are from. The traditional music from Iran is usually a message from the artist along with the expression of love, joy, sorrow, efforts, struggles, victories, and defeats. As for gender inequality, Iranian women are highly discriminated against. Female employment is suffering a decline although all professions are open to them. The difficulty for the leaders of the Islamic Republic in allowing women complete equality in employment and public activity revolves around religion questions of female modesty. Islamic people are required to adopt modest dressing that does not give rise to sexual desire. This applies to both men and women, but women have further regulations. Makeup is not allowed to be worn and the hair must be covered since it is seen as an erotic part of them, which justifies the usage of head coverings. Many wonder what they do if they engage in professions of physical exertion, and the answer is that they are forbidden from that kind of participation. They are not to depart from their modest dressing. Emotional roles in Iran are not what we're familiar with here. There, it is labeled manly for men to be emotionally sensitive, artistically engaged, and aesthetically acute, whereas women can be emotionally detached without seeming unfeminine. Regarding inequalities in today's Iranian society, there are two forms that could be found which include inequality within gender as well as economy. Anti-Iranian demonstrations have exposed a dichotomy that is found within the rich and the poor. There are millions of poor people in Iran who are struggling economically and living in poverty while 2% of the country is made up by wealthy people. These wealthy people spend on average 46.62 million riles a month, which equates to $956 here in the United States in comparison with the poor who spend only 540,000 riles, which then is only $11.40. With oil revenues at Iran's disposal, the government has failed to build a workable and integrated system that is capable of generating tax revenues from taxing the rich. There are also shortcomings in the expenditure of these taxpayers' money, which then reinforces the inequality. As far as the welfare system goes, Iran has actually incorporated everybody from Iran, every member of the societies, into this program because, yet again, they have failed to identify the target group with a comprehensible data collection method.